Welcome back, guys. It is the Brothers Geek Out podcast. It's issue. We're going to call this issue now. So a bit of a change, guys. Issue 170. Uh, so much going nice. on at the moment. And uh, yeah, massive thank you for all the support on the channels, guys. You guys are absolutely awesome. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, the Brothers Geek Out podcast, and the Brothers Geek Out on uh, Twitter. Uh, I'll share the links uh, below in the description box. G-Man, how you been, bro? I've been good, bro. I'm liking this new issue, uh, uh, little series and whatnot, which is good. Or changing it from episode to issue, which is great. At least that yeah. follows that comic book sort of thing. Uh, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Listen, man, I've had a couple of days off. I got tomorrow off work, Tuesday's Eid, so I'm just kind of chilling and eating loads and got little injuries on my elbow, so I haven't been training since yesterday, so I'm taking a couple of days off. Uh, but yeah, I've been all right, man. I've been all right. I got to tell you about the cockroach story yesterday. Oh my, oh my god, what bro. happened, man? What happened? So it was like it was about 1 a.m. and my girl's already gone to sleep, and I was like, "Cool, you got to bed. I'm gonna come back later. I'm gonna sleep later." Anyway, I'm trying to be. I get into the room. I'm trying to be super quiet. I'm not putting on the light. I get my pajamas, and then I go into the bath. My toothbrush, go into the bathroom, and put on the light, and then do my thing. Yeah. Normal. I casually walk in. I've never seen a cockroach since. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about little one. I'm talking about big mother effing Southeast Asian style cockroach. So, bro, I go into the toilet. It's pitch black. I put the light on. I see this MF walk straight past my feet. I freak out. I wake up. In my mind, a split second, I was like, "Be quiet. She's asleep." And the other side was like, "Fuck that. Wake up. Wake up. We got a roach infestation." Bro, listen, man. Bugs don't. I'm not just scared of them. They freak me out, bro. Like, I'm freaked out. Like, I get lizards and stuff, and they're cool. I'm a bit like, ah, oh, shit, basic. But they don't freak me out. Yeah. Bugs freak me out, especially cockroaches, bro. <laughs> and it, oh, my God, the night we had, it took about 45 minutes for me to build the courage up to kill it eventually. I just oh. couldn't do it, bro. As soon as it moves, I freak out, and I run, and then she runs. I was like, it was one of the most adventurous nights ever. And then it took me <laughs> hours to sleep because I was fucking fidgeting and whatnot. Yeah. But, uh... My God, bro, I'm so freaked out with them. And it just brings back so many other memories of, like, dad killing rats and me running away. And, like, there's so... People, some people are just so used to it. I'm so freaked out by insects, especially roaches. That, Wait till uh, you have kids, bro. Wait till you have kids. Everything changes because then you actually have to deal with that shit. And, oh, like, oh. I had to... I deal with dead rats and mice, uh, spiders, But dead ones. Cockroach. What about live ones, though? My dad used to try and... Dad used to nah, like, yeah. No bro, live ones, bro. Not that's yet. what I'm saying. Like spiders, bro, like... spiders. I've had to. I've got a spider catcher to make my life easy now. I don't have to touch it with tissue or anything because I still get like. I've I've got this long spider catcher, so you just grab it. So I don't kill it. Dash it out of the window. Uh, but Maybe then I realized. Maybe I should buy one for roaches. Maybe I should buy one for roaches. You know what? Bro, I've never. Living in Hong Kong, do you okay? Remember one chai? Remember my flat in one chai? Remember to go in underneath? It was so grimy. There was like fifty roaches just to get through the front gate. Yeah. You remember that? That was so grimy. But I never found one in my flat. And yeah. then same with in in Singapore. I've been here for two years, two and a half years, and I see them outside and whatnot, but never in my flat. That was the first time I see a big mofo Where the in hell my did flat. That come from, man? Do not know, man. I'm trying to investigate, man. I was telling my girl it's her fault, man, that she bought that shit in. That she tagged along with her or what? Because I have n never come across that, bro. And oh my god, it freaked me the f out, bro. What a night! What a Brilliant. night, man. It's Brilliant. big jokes. Uh, there was one because <laughs> I, bro, I saw it and then I woke her up and I was like, "Come check it out." And we couldn't find it, and I was like, "No, what was that? Was I, was I think was I dreaming this shit?" And then I moved the towel. It was on my towel, and it fell down, and I ran, and then she ran, she dropped. <laughs> I freaked out, bro. It was hilarious. But listen, I'm a pansy. When it comes to insects, I freak out. I'm a pansy. Insects are aliens. They don't belong here. I don't know what the hell. Um, oh, they freaked me out, bro. But that was my evening last night, man. The adventures of uh, yeah. the cockroach. No. Um, um, yeah, that must have been hilarious. That must have been hilarious. No, I've got I've got much more used to it now. I'm that I'm that guy who has to deal with all that stuff now. So oh, and then you know, suddenly I'll be like, Daddy, look. Spider, and I'm like, oh, bloody oh. hell, man, that's tonks. How are you not freaked out by this? So, yeah. It's, it's good if they're not, man. It's good. It's, bro, listen, remember all those things in Bangladesh? I, that's why I couldn't live in our house in Bangladesh because we live in a village. We don't live in a city. And in the village, they're everywhere roaches, spiders, toads, and everything. Man, I remember when good. we were in Desh, bro. I woke up and I had one of them tick ticky lizards. I woke up from bed and it was right behind me, bro. 
I suffocated mm. it and it slept. I slept on it. I'm like, what the mm. fuck? well, lizards, like I said, I get them and I don't, they don't freak me out too much. It's bugs. I remember that time, bro, when we walked into the flat, uh, not the flat, the house in Bangladesh. No, no, you were praying. And then this big spider, the size of my hand, was just Spider Man down the wall. And I was like, oh shit, you broke your prayer. You were like, <laughs> he's trying to run in. <laughs> bro, them things I can't deal with, man. I cannot deal with. And, Yesterday night was hilarious, man. When I think back of it, it was just hilarious, man. Oh, good. I hate. Yeah, no. So, yeah, that's it's uh, it's, it's different. Yeah, you be you. It's hard to deal with, man. It is hard to deal with. It's not. It's not for me. Not one of my favorite things that, to do. Yeah. Other than that, everything else has been cool, bro. Just trying to live my good life in Singapore. Do you know what's jokes? Yeah. So. Oh, things was finally going to open up a little bit in Singapore, a bit more, you know, and then there's been a new cluster of wave from yeah. a KTV bar. Have you ever heard of a K- KTV bar? They're like karaoke bars, but some of them are little dodgy games and whatnot. So a couple of fiends, well, a few fiends are going to get exposed now to their wives when they get the text message saying that you've been in the cluster of the KTV bars oh, and you've got to shit. isolate yourself. So I'm talking about hundreds of people. I don't know. So they, people just thought, fuck it, I'm having a game. And then um, now there's been a big cluster. Now they've, con- and now we've bu- but not back to lockdown, but we've gone restricted again for another month. I, I don't get it, man. I don't know what to, I, I really don't get it anymore, man, because I feel like with this whole COVID thing now, People don't know. it's it's like, what are you going to, like the, vi- the vaccine's out, you know, uh, you understand it a bit more. You just got to, I think you just got to let it be. I don't know, man. Cause I'm thinking, look, New Zealand and Australia and whatnot, those countries have been amazing to contain it, right? But then, are you going to shut yourself up from the world forever? Like once you open up travel, it's, it's out. It's going to be it's out, out again. completely again. That's right. It's out so, there again. Like really, the way I see it is, I don't know, man. I mean, like the US has opened up. Maybe you just give the vaccine to everyone. Whoever wants to take it, take it. If you don't take it, then that's up to your risk. And let everything free, man. Because you can't just control your country and then get it to zero and then let's live the life of your country. You have to open it up. And eventually when you do... Boom! It's gonna explode again. It's gonna so, happen. It's gonna happen. I think that's where the UK is heading at the moment now. Like we're just gonna have to get used to it. We're, you I know, think so, bro. Immunity. You guys are all vaccinated. You're taking all the vitamins. I think you're all vaccinated. You're all taking all the vitamins. Got to keep in healthy. Do, do that. And then whoever doesn't want to, whoever wants to stay unhealthy, whoever doesn't want to take the vaccine, let them take it at their own risk. And at least you know at hospitals they kind of know how to treat it a bit better. Mm. So that way, you know, it it's not overrun. Yeah. Not over yeah, man. I just feel like I, I, I just don't get it anymore, man. I feel like now I'm a bit being a bit complacent about, you know, maybe we should follow the what the West is doing now. Just open the fuck up and let it be, man. Because you, you you're not you're gonna open the borders. You have to. You can't just contain yourself to to yourself from forever. That this every country and I think Asia's Asia's was the first place to close down, and now it's the first place to and it's the last place to open up uh, in mm. the world. It's, it's crazy. It just needs to open up, man. No, it does. It does. It does. Uh, hopefully, man, hopefully we just come out of the clear of this, you know what I mean? But it's going to be with us for a long time. So we just have to, we just adjust and we adapt and do the best we can at the moment. Do the best we mm, can. Yeah. But then anyway. the after effects of it, you know, the mental health issues that people have been locked up for a little while and, you know, how they interact with, you know, even, you know, me yesterday going out, I just, you know, still was a bit cautious, you know, Handshakes, fist bumps, elbows. What do we do? Hugs, you know. I'm in the same boat. I, I sometimes I even see people and I ask them, are we, are we shaking hands? Are we fist bumping? Or we what? What are we doing? Like, yeah, I, that's what, I'm yeah. cool with everything, but I have to. I sometimes I literally ask people, what are we doing? Are we doing anything, or is it just like, hey, what's up? But yeah, I I agree, man. We, this the mental health and all that sort of stuff. And like I said last year, we didn't know much about it. This year, they know a lot more about it. Come on, man. You you know we're gonna live with this forever. So let's open up vaccines available people want to take it take it and again you you know people want to get healthy get healthy if you don't then that's up to you man you take out your own risk exactly. you just go out there exactly. and get it and if you lose you lose obviously for old people we got to be careful so vaccinate them which i think most of the world has done you know yeah. they prioritize old people so let's let's move on no definitely man definitely definitely cool man just a little plug man just a little plug again as always and it's always thankful for the people that listen in and the, and the rest of it so i don't usually do this and we haven't done it on most of the podcasts, so i'm just trying to adapt at the moment now so guys if you're new and you're listening to this and it seems like last week we had a couple of more new listeners subscribers uh so look i'm my name's kibla i'm, I'm based in 
UK, London, and G-Man's based in Singapore. G-Man is my 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 my, my little brother, uh, and we talk it's about all things. Yeah, we all things geeky, uh, but we talk about real life situations as well. Uh, our podcast is actually quite mixed. It's, I think it's uh, evolved over the past year from becoming like more of a geeky podcast to more like a, a lifestyle, all sorts. You know, we don't just talk about comic book movies, artwork, you know, what's happening in the entertainment business and the entertainment world, but we talk about what we're going through as a, as, as a family. We talk about things that are happening realistically, like what's happening in the world as well. So it's evolved quite, quite big. So I just want to thank everybody who, 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 who's shown some love and, and to the new, the new listeners listening in. Bloody hell, man. My words, man. I can't get mad. Uh, I had a late night, guys. By 10 o'clock, I was dying, bro. And then, you know what? The funny thing was yesterday. Yak was having so much jokes, bro. My man, before he picked me up, yeah? Go, shit, I know I've exposed his name again. Uh, <laughs> the one who remains. We shouldn't speak about his we name. We should call him that, the one who remains. The yeah. one who remains. Uh, bro, he was having bare fun. Bare fun, you know? But just before he picked me up, because, bro, I've got to get up at 6 o'clock, man. Man, start at 7 o'clock. Oh, I lose. And I'm like, bro, lose. man was having a game. And yeah, man, let's stay to the end. Bro, it's 12 o'clock, bro. You got work at, uh, so you got to get up at six. Oh, 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 shit. I had to lose. <laughs> he completely forgot. He was having so much fun. I was having too much fun. And yeah, well, let, you know what? You guys kind of deserve it after so long. You guys can meet up, have that kind of fun. Bro, I ain't got shit out here, man. I, ain't got, I mean, just me and my girl, that's it. And then me at the gym, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, I miss you lot so much. I miss like those little gatherings, man. Yeah. So I just can't wait. Hopefully the borders open up and I can I can come back and do some kind of gathering together where we can just get together and chill and have jokes. Uh, Ooh, I miss that so much. Definitely. Idris sent a message yesterday. Got me emotional all day. He sent a message saying, uh, he was speaking to his mum saying, oh, uh, I, I want to speak to Mandalorian Sasa and Singapore auntie. And I was like, oh, this guy oh, is killing man. me. Bro. So cute, man. He's like Mandalorian Sasa in Singapore and Auntie in Singapore. I want them to come to my house. I'm like, oh, this guy, this little guy, I miss him so much. When he's when I saw that message this morning, I just been feeling emotional and uh, homesick since since the whole day. Oh, um, but I can't wait to come back. Hopefully by the end of this year, when the borders open and just kind of see everyone and just chill with him and then just chill with the boys, man. Because I could imagine how much fun you guys had yesterday, just being with each other in each it other's was, company. It was good. Stuff. It was good. It was good. It was good. So congratulations to Ali, who who got engaged. Uh, also, is him. that the girl that he's been seeing for a while, the Turkish girl? Yeah. No. Greek oh, girl. Uh uh-uh. Oh, maybe it was the same girl. Yeah. He's been yeah. seeing her for a while, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Long time, long time. Uh, oh. But yeah, uh, congratulations <laughs> to him. And yeah, man, that's about it, really. Other than that, yeah, back to work. So busy. This week was busy, busy week at work. So I'm just trying to. There's still like little bits and pieces. Like I want to finish off the garden. So hopefully before the summer ends, I want to mm-hmm. get the garden done. So next week is my mission impossible to finish off the <clears> garden. <throat> so as much as we're yeah, going to do bro. geeky stuff, I'm going to do that as well. But uh, let's ju- let's jump into this list, bro. Let's jump do it, in. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Uh, real quick, um, real quick, the UFC, bro, because you know what yeah. the UFC fight pass. We're watching that man. Islam Makachev today, uh, one of Khabib's boys. He won his fight. He's like, he's gonna be the new. It's gonna be exciting to follow his journey yeah. because he's like, he's he's like Khabib. I don't know if he's as, as a beast as Khabib, but he's definitely a beast up there. So it's gonna be amazing to follow his his journey. And then Misha Tate came back. Remember my the, my claim to fame. Uh, Misha Tate, the UFC world champion, legend, female legend fighter. She's back in the UFC after oh. five years. She won a wow. fight. Um, and uh, it, it's just been, it's just quite awesome. A, a little bit like, I don't know what the word, word is, like overwhelming. Like, damn, man, that's Misha, man. She taught me for like two years. What a year yeah. and a bit. And she knows my name, but I don't know if she still remembers my name, but she knows my name. Um, <laughs> so anyway, that was, that was quite awesome for me. Uh, but yeah, no, Islam Makhachev, man, like, he's going to be the new... I think represented like I don't know. He's one of my. He's going to be one of my favorite fighters. I think Khabib's always like one of my top fighters, um, but I think he's it's going to be interesting and exciting to follow Islam's journey up there. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of share that, man. I mean, watch. I, I should give you my fight pass login, man. So if you ever want to watch some of these fights, you can always check it out and and watch it. 
Yeah, no, definitely. We'll do, man. We'll do, we'll do. Yeah. No, that sounds that sound good, like man. A very unenthusiastic. Unifu- no, no, no. Word. Bro, I hardly get to watch TV, bro. <laughs> unless it's Peppa Pig and uh, all the kids' channels. Because then you don't realise, bro, even after in the evenings when you chill, that stuff is still playing in the background. I'm like, it's been two hours, man. Why are we watching this business for, man? Oh, good. That's true. Uh, so, yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Uh, uh, cool. Let's get into it, man. Um, what's, what's the first, first thing on your list, bro? Biz Marquee, bro. Um, who passed away uh you know the rapper um yeah. and i swear i want to say he's like the pioneer of uh beatboxing because he had this mutant ability to to make different sounds with his voice and multiple sounds at the That's same right. time yeah. and one of the best yeah beatbox uh he was amazing legend man so he passed yeah. away uh this weekend which is which is a bit unfortunate uh it was young apparently it was like problems with diabetes or something and he was like yeah mid 50s or something um so yeah no rest in peace man biz marquee man no, rest, rest, in rest in peace man uh yeah, yeah. yeah it's a difficult one man you, you know at that sort of age and that sort of career and then suddenly man, you, you have to look after yourself man that's the that's that's the main key man yeah, looking after yourself is key now and in the times we're in right now when we've got like this fucking virus everywhere yeah we have to be really cautious in looking after ourselves as well man it's a whole mm. different game now man but no nah, yeah uh, another legend in the game uh, again his music will live on forever man and his talents will live on forever so rest in peace to him uh bro is this for real i haven't seen this yet is this legit antonio banderas bro yeah, he's in. I heard it on Fat Man Beyond today. He's gonna be in, in Indiana Jones, a new one. He's I mean, he's making a comeback. He was just in Hitman's Bodyguard yeah. Wife too. Yeah. Uh, and now he's in the in in, in Indiana Jones. So, um, you know. I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll be good. I watched Desperados though, but I had it. It's on Netflix, and I was like, That's oh it. man, this guy, man, breaking it down. And then I saw another one where he was a security guard in a mall, and he was trying to help people out. Not Paul Blart, <laughs> you know, no, 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 it, it's the same concept, <laughs> but he's a what do you call it? Uh, it's the same thing, bro. Security guard, like Paul, it's exactly that, that, but a violent and more ruthless version than Paul, uh, Paul, oh. Paul, was it Paul, Paul Blart? Blart? Yeah, yeah, more cop, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, interesting. Well, yeah. he, he was awesome, man. I mean, that that Desperados was, was remember, man, the suitcase full of guns and the way he was. The way he was shooting, remember he was flicking the guns and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, pretty awesome, man. That yeah. that's that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, a legend. And he saw it, seeing him back in and what was it? Was it Expendables three? Yeah, Expendables three. Yeah, which was pretty good. See him in there. Um, he's awesome, bro. He's awesome. Uh, I mean, I loved it. Hey, did you did you see that podcast with Joe Rogan and Quentin Tarantino? No, it's an interesting one, man. You should check it out. Tarantino's just got so much to. He's so creative. The way he talks, he's so expressive. He's so, well, you know, the way he talks is very out there. But just the hair is in his movies, isn't it? You know, exactly, exactly. That's why his movies himself. are the way. Exactly, the way his movies eyes is the way he expresses himself. And uh, yeah, you should definitely check it out. It's really good. It's really good. I mean, he goes in on Bruce Lee a little bit, and as a Bruce Lee fan, it's hard for me to take it. Whether he's right or wrong, I don't know. Um, but other than that, outside of that, it, he's so creative and just his movie he's got one more to do right he's, he's doing 10 and that's it he's done so yeah. you know i don't know what that's going to be but he's um he's got one more and his movies are just legendary really yeah so definitely um definitely. check that one out if you have a chance but when you said antonio banderas i i just thinking of him because um he didn't direct desperados desperados was, no, the boy he was like he, a producer but, like he was one of those guys who uh presented the movie because he liked it so much i think he was a producer on it i need to double check I know him and Robert Rodriguez are good friends, so... Robert Rodriguez, that's what I was yeah. going to say. They always yeah. cross over and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're um, quite good. They're but yeah, good. also, I was, like, listening to... Um, I don't know why, on the way home, I was listening to old, like, Hong Kong music and whatnot, and then The Killer came up, and I just... And he was talking about, you know, John Woo and the Hong Kong cinema and whatnot. So, mm. I don't know, just had a bit of a go back down memory lane. But I am going to watch The Killer, actually, again. I feel that's a, my favourite It's been a long Hong time. Kong I actually movie. want to see yeah. that again. It's been a while. Brilliant. Definitely been a Brilliant while movie. since I've seen that. Hang in fact, to me at that time was the coolest. It's still the coolest dude ever, man. So, uh, original John Wick style, you know. Right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, it Gong Fu, bro. Gong Fu, Gong Fu, bro. Gong that's him, bro. Gong Fu, that's him, bro. That's him all day long, bro. Uh, it's one guy I'd like to meet though, if I if I get the chance one day, John Wu, man. 
Oh, John Wu. See, bro, Chinese fight, fight used to hike. Chinese fight used to hike around Hong Kong all the time, and I I never saw him. And all, I I used to, I know people who were like, oh, I just bumped into Chinese fight, and I never bumped into him. I'm like, man, like I would, ah,、oh, man, I would geek out so much. And he was <laughs> known to be like such a nice, charitable guy,、yeah. helping out people and whatnot. Um, yeah, and used to hike in Hong Kong all the time, man. I'd love to have met Chinese fight. Yeah, Chinese fight, John Wu, two two guys still on my list, bro. Let's see, man. They need to get Chayun Fat in a Marvel movie, man. Come on, do it, or even a DC one. Do it, do it. Get yeah, that guy、man. in there, man. Get that guy in there.、Uh, you saw Space Jam too, bro. I haven't seen it yet. I'm looking to watch it this week.、Uh, what did you think? Yeah, it was awesome. It's like a,、um, it was like a Warner Brothers、um, multiverse type, not multiverse. Warner Brothers. Open universe movie, man. Anyone、yeah. and everyone is all in it. You see、did、the trailer. It, did it remind you a little bit of Ready Player One? Yes, yes, exactly, exactly like Ready、yeah. Player One from the from the perspective of everyone and anyone is in it.、Um, so that was fun, and it was good. It was it was so it was jokes. It was it was hilarious. It had a different element to it. it had a digital element to it. You know what I mean?、Um, Bugs Bunny and seeing those characters back were, were quite hilarious. They made me laugh. Yeah.、Um, I enjoyed it, bro. I enjoyed it. You know, Kobe. I I don't know much about the thing. Is this is how amazing no, LeBron, Michael Jordan? LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. Oh yeah, my bad, man. Kobe,、yeah. rest in yeah. peace, man. LeBron, yeah. yeah.、Um, I, I is that, this is my point. I'm not familiar with basketball, but this is how legendary Michael Jordan was. Back then, everyone knew about him, even us. So we, when I watched Space Jam, I knew exactly Michael Jordan. I was excited to see him on the big screen. Whereas with LeBron, I'm not familiar with basketball. I know he's a legend and whatnot. But、um, I'll be back. yeah, I'm not because I'm not familiar with him. I'm just like, cool. I'm just accepting him an athlete being in a movie and whatnot. But saying that, he done well. The message of the movie was nice, you know, about family and making time with family and letting people,、uh, letting your family be. Just because he's such a legend doesn't mean you need to force that legendary、uh, and your own things on your kids. Just because you know, on your own, on your family, just because that's the way you are. You gotta let your family be them.、Um, And that was kind of like the the that was like the kind of overall. I don't want to spoil it too much, but that was the overall message of the movie. Just be you, you know what I mean. So that's what he he wasn't doing with his son. That's why you know I won't spoil what happened, but that's why the the relationship with his son was going down because he was because he was his way. He was trying to make his son be his way,、um, where his son was actually trying to you know do his own thing.、Mm. Uh, and then that, you know same with the Looney Tunes. Like again, like but their, their way to victory was. Be loony, be you, and that's how we're gonna win.、Uh, and same, that's the overall message to his family as well. Just be you.、Um, but it was cool. It was fun, bro. For some weird, weird, weird reason, I was expecting Bill Murray to show up just because he was in the one. Remember that? Remember the, the way he appeared in the, in the, last the one, original、yeah. space show, which was also、awesome. for some weird reason. I was like, please, Bill Murray, be in this, but he wasn't anyway.、Uh, was which is not spoiler, but Bill Murray, man. <laughs> Yeah, but it was both. Like there were loads of characters in there, and Don Shadell was hilarious.、Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I I was in the cinema giggling like a little kid because the Looney Tunes made me laugh still, man. Like, all of them, your Sammy Sam, yeah, Boogie Pig, all of them, bro. They were they were cracking me up. So I I、um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Genuinely enjoyed it, man. Nah, definitely. I'll check that out. I, I'm looking forward to that this week.、Uh, there is some special news coming up, but I can't say anything as of yet. But you guys will find out soon. There was another thing I was going to say because people must wonder why we do our podcast on like Monday and Tuesday, and it's about the following week. So make sure I、uh, sort of week before. So all the news and all the entertainment stuff we give guys is from the week before, not that the week coming. So it's always a week after. Me and G Man always talk about it and catch up.、Uh, but yeah,、uh, looking forward to that, bro. Looking forward to that, bro.、Uh, Modok, I've missed again. Sorry,、oh. bro. Right, I think no, the last episode、no、I saw was. Last episode I saw is of. His、uh, his doppel doppelganger from the future and arcades in it, and they they have to kill each other and they're robots and stuff like that, and they got、mm-hmm. microchip that falls out, which is quite a good episode. And arcade as well. Ar- Ar- arcade is a big、uh, villain from,、uh, you know, the X Men universe. So it's 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 nice how they entwine it all together. Now it's it's pretty good and good fun. Yeah, well, this week's episode was. Fun. I mean, these those shows are not something that you can you have to watch like Loki every week. It's something you can watch them later. They're just fun shows to watch, so you're not missing out. But it was hilarious as as always. I love that show.、Um, 
did you hear about the Emmys, bro? The Emmy, I think it's the Emmy Awards. And a lot of the Marvel shows and everything got awarded. But the only thing I wanted to talk about was John Shadell. Did you hear about what happened to him? Yeah, I saw the, I saw the, the tweet. yeah. Because <laughs> the funny thing is, apparently Anthony Mackie and all, all the rest of them didn't get nominated, but he got nominated for Falcon and Winter Soldier for something. And he was only in it for like, like, te- f- like what, five minutes or something? Like, Three minutes. Even that. And eight minutes. And he even, he tweeted out like, okay, like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I, don't, I wasn't even in the, I wasn't even in the show for that long, but okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Um that's how awesome he is, I guess, that they didn't wait to give him a, a nominated him for an award. I found that hilarious, bro. And it's funny that he acknowledged it like that. So. <laughs> oh, bless I forget that he's a comedian, you know. I, I forget know. that he's, because he just looks so serious, but I forget that he's a comedian. Well, you're going back all the way to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, bro. He, he was, he was uh, Will's best friend from Philly, isn't it? Oh, my God. God, we're going, going back. way back, bro. And then, you know, he did comedy, he did stand up, he did his films, TV. Like, you know, I first got introduced to him, like, knowing that we saw him in Fresh Prince, I didn't know him that much. But remember that movie called Traitor, where he was that Islamic yes. brother? That was a yes, good yes, film. Yes, bro. yes, yes, yes. Very good film. Uh, and then, you know, going forward. That's, I think that's exactly where I remember him from. That's, and I think because that was probably my first proper introduction to him, he, outside the, the what, Fresh Prince. I, I, that's why I probably t- take him so serious. But then he's actually a comedian, man. He's freaking hilarious. Bro, Captain Planet. Oh, my God. When he done that spoof or spiff, yeah. whatever it was. Hilarious. That was the <laughs> best, bro. That was the best. Bro. He was really good with that. Uh, bro, have you seen Ryan Reynolds recently doing his shit, bro? And this week we got introduced to Deadpool. Well, not this week. I think it was the week before. But Deadpool reacts. And then... And he- what was it? So it was, I can't remember the first trailer, but the second trailer was... Uh, oh, he's on multiple ones. I've only yeah. seen the one with Quark. With yeah, Quark. so there's, there's another one he did. I think it was a week before. I need to double check it. I haven't seen it yet, but the one with Quark. Quark, Brilliant, that's bro. it. That was, uh, that's his introduction, bro. He's, he's, he's officially coming to the MCU. Love it. Love yeah. it. Um, I didn't notice that one. I'll probably have to search out because he was hilarious, the one with Quark. And... Um, Obviously, the movie with Watiti, Tatiti, Tahiti, Watiti, whatever, the other guy, not the other guy, the nice, what's it called? The, uh, the, the nice guy. Free guy. What's it called? Free guy. Yeah. Um, uh, which is coming out. So, uh, but that's awesome the way they're introducing Deadpool into the MCU in a different way because he does break the fourth wall anyway. So that's just right up his alley. It's perfect. Perfect, bro. So good. So good. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, bro. It's a, it's a wicked introduction and it builds the hype for what's coming now because as we are going to speak we're going to talk about the moistness of the season finale of Loki that it's a nice introduction to everything bro because all the like 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 we spoke about so guys we're going to jump into spoilers territory if you have not seen Loki smash that like button subscribe come back to the video watch this section <laughs> Just like first and then fuck off. That's <laughs> Go watch Loki and then come back on. Exactly. And let's like first. Bro, if you haven't seen Loki, then where the fuck have you been? It's, it's Monday, it's Tuesday. Where have you been? It's been out for nearly a week. Uh, oh my God. Bro, that season finale, like I remember it was a busy week at work. Yeah. And I thought I'm not going to catch it on Wednesday. And I was like, last week was quite... Uh, was was a treat because we got to see Loki and Black Widow. And then going into this week, knowing what was coming and all, you know, everybody's predictions and everything that went together with it. Fucking hell, man. Such a good episode. Such a good episode. Such an introduction to everything. And, you know, now we know where this is heading. Well... I know that Instagram stories message didn't record when we were just geeking the F Instagram, out. Instagram, man, you lose. Well, your battery lose, man. Yeah. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> but listen, man, I had a few. I remember I remember watching it. I was so busy at work. I had training at, in the evening, so I had a quick hour to watch it. And when the the one who was what do they call him? The one who, the one who um, remains. The one who remains showed up. Obviously... It's gonna be Kang. Is Kang the Conqueror, but a different variant of him? Oh my god, I geeked out. 
I I was gone. And then when the end of the show happened, we'll talk about the little bits in between, but when the end of the show happened and the different timelines, the time you just complete you just see it. Bro, I was just geeking the fuck out. And I was just thinking about anything and everything. And the beginning of the show started amazingly. The busy the, you know, all the different, you know, voices from the last 10 years and that was freaking emotional. And from that, I just knew this means this episode is going to mean something big. It's going to change whatever the last 10 years ha- has happened and whatever's going to happen now. This episode is going to change everything. Because why else would you have an introduction like that for the last 10 years? And then, you, and you know what I mean? It set us up that, hey, this is going to blow up the whole MCU right now. Exactly. And I can't believe they did, they done it on a Disney show. It's not even a movie. The show, um, bro, I'm all geeked out about this moment. I can't believe it. The whole show was amazing. I think it starts off amazingly just where it left off from the previous episode. That's right. You're all anxious to see what's going on. Um, you're, and you, they walk into the castle and whatnot. And then you see the little happy face time thing, uh, which was spooky as fuck, right? Was. It, 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 yeah, it's very spooky. But the offering that she was given to... Loki, the fact that I could give you the inf- you can win the Battle of New York, I'll give you the Infinity Gauntlet. It just makes you realize what the hell is going on. Like, you yeah. know, Thanos and them not fought for the Infinity Gauntlet and he's been offered it like that. And then you see the one who remains who's going to be Kang the Conqueror. Yeah. What's his name? What's the real name? What's the actor's name? Oh, let me get it up because I actually do like, I do like, oh, bloody hell. I, uh, I, I can't believe I can't remember his name. Majors, J- Jonathan Majors. Jonathan, Jonathan yeah. Majors. Is yeah. it Jonathan Majors? Yeah, I'm going to double I'm check it. Something Majors, right? He's brilliant, bro. Absolutely awesome. When I saw him, I I was out. I, w- I just couldn't believe that they introduced I know there was so much theories throughout the whole show, but who would have known that in a TV show that they would have blown up the whole MCU and introduced the next villain for the next however long? We say 10 years, Marvel can make it 20, they can make it five, we don't know, but... Who would have known, man? When I saw him, I geeked out, but I couldn't believe it. Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors, yeah. Yeah, he's brilliant, bro. He's in Lovecraft, uh, Lovecraft Country, and yeah, he he set the tone, man. He's, he's sadistic, comedic, uh, you know, you know the ways he, the way he, he, like, the way he acted that moment. But you know, the moment that turned was when he felt the rift. And said, "Shit, uh, I've been lying, guys. I don't know what the fuck is going on." You saw that. You, you. It, I don't know. It's hard to explain when you see that in an actor's face because when I watched it the second time round, I felt like that original person they met was gone, bro. I just feel so. Listen, listen some of the feedback I got from friends and whatnot were like. I don't like the way he acted. I feel like he overacted. I mean, any F- acting experts right now, right? everyone's making their things, but he overacted. He da, da, da. Uh, and I didn't like the episode. It, was so, it wasn't as great as it should have been. I think, first of all, we talked about this on Instagram stories, right? That I think with the TV shows, the way it's set, when you get to the final episode, everyone's expected big battle, big battle yeah. and then end of a storyline, right? Marvel is setting a trend. There is no final episode. It's just a continuous thing. So what Marvel's just did for us is they just set up the timeline, the multiverse for us in the last six episodes, right? Six hours or five hours that they took this to, to, to explain the multiverse and what the fuck's going on and eventually how it breaks, right? So this is what we're talking about. Spider-Man's not going to start off with an hour of how the multiverse is and what it is and then this yeah. is what the break happened he's probably gonna wake up with spider sense tingling and shit's gonna start because we just spent six hours learning about how the multiverse broke right so that's what i love about marvels that's what they did with this episode it wasn't about a final big battle it's it was the introduction of the next big bad bad guy and it was an introduction of the multiverse and how it broke. And I loved it, bro. I loved no, the fact that course, they sat there and spoke and he explained everything. In regards to his acting, I, I, bro, he said it himself. I've lived multiple lifestyle lifetimes. I'm old. I'm tired. He's fucking probably gone crazy, bro. He's and he's not the, the Kang the Conqueror. That he's he. The amazing thing is that Jonathan Majors got, and I, I, I'm a, I'm sure he's gonna smash it. Is 
he's going to be playing the same character in many different variant ways. Exactly. So he's going to smash it. So obviously Kang the Conqueror is going to be the big Thanos type philosophical evil but calm dude that's going to just fuck shit up where this guy was the one who kind of kept peace even though he was evil he kind of kept peace in the multiverse but he was old and cynical and yeah, probably yeah, going yeah. crazy and probably yeah. can't take it no more which, he, which is why I think he was acting all goofy and extreme and whatnot man that's and right. at the end that's he right. was just like I'm cool with dying I'm cool you make the decision I'm gonna give it to you guys or just kill me and but his last line when he did get stabbed and he looked at her in the eyes and he said keep going bro. Okay. Let me see. i think she woke up no, give me a second okay go on go for keep it keep going he's his last line that got me just pumped when he when when uh what's her name um lady loki stabbed him and he just looks and he goes i'll see you soon and that you just know that the next variant that's going to be released Oh, or the next, um, uh, 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 what do you call it, Kang variants that he's been protecting everyone from are just going to fuck shit up. I'm so looking forward to it, man, because I don't think we're just going to see the one Kang the Conqueror. I reckon they're going to show us different variants. End of the day, he said that they were all evil, right? I think he said that all his variants were evil, but Kang the, right. most, the Conqueror is the most evil one. So that's what I was just talking about. The last line he says is, I'll see you soon. And, that, and, he, and he didn't even say it. Yes, it, 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 bro, it just, oh my God, it just got me so pumped. And then it did, it when did. Loki, Loki goes back to that timeline and then you see the figure of, of, of him, the statue, you're just, bro, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. It was, it was interesting the way they did that because I don't think Sylvie wanted to do it either, bro. I think she did, bro. I think no, she did. I mean, she did, but then at the moment, like after she's done it and he said what he said, I'll see you soon. I mean, the fact that Loki... Well, that variant of Loki had done this, mm. you know, to start this. And even the Loki that we learned to like even more has changed, bro. You know, in the six episodes we got, you saw his transition from, you know, the God of Mischief that wanted to cause all sorts of mayhem to shit. This is, this guy scares the shit out of me. How crazy is that? This is bigger than fucking everything. But I like the fact that at the end they showed, you know, because he went into a different, Sylvie must have pushed him into a different timeline. I think, sorry, so, so, so huh? I don't even think, I think she thought she pushed him back to the, the original one they were on, but because the timeline was broken by then, she pushed him thing, not realizing then he's going to get thrown into another timeline because it's all broken. So I don't think she meant to push him for a different timeline. And yeah. It just happened. Um, but yeah, listen, that Loki from episode one, I think he changed anyway because he saw how he died. He saw how he he was he killed his mother, how he was involved killing his father, and that fucked him up. And he just immediately changed who he was. Mm. Um, but yeah, I agree. I I think Sylvie wanted to kill him because I, I think it made so much sense that L Lady Loki killed him just because her life was ruined as a child, so she just had too much vengeance and anger in her and revenge mm. that she wanted because her life was ruined as a kid. Uh, whereas this Loki. You know, he's, um, yeah, I mean, he's gone through shit, but it wasn't as harsh as, as her, I don't think. Um, but yes, you could, saw, you could see the fear in his face. And I think, he's, I think he saw the fear in his face because he was like, hold on. Like, like, we're trying to get the Infinity Stones and Thanos is around, blah, blah, blah. And this guy just offered it to me on a silver plate. Like, what the, f like, he knew, I think he knew the magnitude of what this guy can, it, it, what this guy can do or what killing this guy, what it can do. That's right. Um, Bro, but how, how good is that, man? How good is that the fact that Marvel has made Loki such a main part of this whole MCU journey from Avengers 1 all the way to whatever we're going to get now? He's so big a part of it, bro. It not is. Iron Man, not Cap, not Thor, Loki. Loki, like, yeah. How crazy is that, bro? It's going to be it's gonna be mad how, you know, recently Tom Hiddleston said, I'd, I'd like to play Loki for as long as I want. And that just kind of shows me like yes he's going to play an integral part to the mcu moving forward and you know dr strange multiverse of madness and spider-man no way home it's going to tell us much more i don't think the next two movies we're going to see is going to touch base on that just yet we maybe get in you know the end clip scenes giving us a little bit but they won't have nothing to do with 
this multiverse at the moment what we're just going to get two good movies that are going to because both the both shang chi and eternals are going to be almost like prequel movies that's what i, I feel I, like well, i think shang chi is going to be within the blip right yeah. that's what i heard and then i think eternals i think eternals is going to be Going, prequel man. yeah i think eternal is going to be prequel but i think it's going to be now because remember the trailer of eternals they were like you know we we never exposed ourselves until now and everyone was like well where the hell were you a fan of snapped away half the universe i feel like they didn't see that as obviously that's a threat but i felt like they saw that avengers could handle that whereas now i think they come out because of the multiverse that has been um the, the, multi, the timeline has been broken and whatnot. So this is why I think the Eternals has arrived and feel like they have to get involved. And I think the Eternals are obviously going to yeah. be a big part oh, of this. Uh, Ooh, your heart. I think the Eternals are going to be a big part of this next couple phases of the MCU. Um, so this is why I think the Eternals have shown up because of the magnitude of the universe. It's not like because Thanos snapped away half the universe. It's pretty bad, but this is going to cause multi-universal wars, which I feel like the Eternals feel like, okay, well, now we have to step up. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't seem as useless as we once thought they were because we were like, where the hell were you as Thanos? But now I think I think it's going to be a prequel. It's going to introduce them, but it's going to bring them to the timeline too, up to the point where the timeline and the, multi- and the multiverse has opened up. And then, Keep going, bro. Uh, give me a second. All right, cool. Uh, the okay, timeline's going to be broken up and that's when they're going to show up and then obviously then Spider-Man goes into uh, uh, the multiverse and like I said I think Marvel's so smart like they didn't even give us a Spider-Man trailer until the mo- until we got the last episode and, and, and the multiverse has opened up like how are you going to give us Spider-Man like thing is we would have taken it anyway and but how are you going to give us, like, Marvel's just thinking, why are we going to release a Spider-Man trailer when we haven't even explained the timelines and the multiverse and how and what happens in the end of Loki where the multiverse opens up and the different branches open up before we give you a Spider-Man trailer? Now they could give you a Spider-Man trailer and show whatever they're going to show, like the multiverse Spider-Mans, like the different, um, you know, whichever ones they're going to show, if that is what is really going to happen. Uh, because it's open now. If you follow the, if you don't follow the shows, if you don't follow the the movies, then you're not gonna know. But if you follow them, then you know Spider Man can just straight away start yeah. off him getting Spider Man, Spider Tingles, and then other Spider Man variants showing up, and that's it. So I'm just talking about the trailer, man. Spider Man trailer should be coming any day now. I really truly believe it. They've opened up the multiverse, so now they have all the right, they have all the ways to show the Spider Man trailer. Whereas before the U- oh, multiverse wasn't open, so why yeah. are you going to show the trailer? You know what I mean? I think Marvel's so smart. I think their storytelling up to the fucking trailers are so smart, bro. No, no, of course, of course, bro. And you, I know that we were supposed to get Spider Man last week in the cinemas, but oh my god, can you if imagine? they couldn't, this, yeah. they couldn't without getting these shows out, you know, and that's why they delayed it. Of course, of course. So definitely, definitely uh, a good, good call to wait and. Uh, exciting times you know what i mean uh the only thing is you're right bro that what the what disney should have stopped doing was i don't want to see no more spoilers because we're going to see spoilers in the trailer anyway but don't share the toys man hot toys and funko man please i want to wait till i see them on the screen and then you release it please disney have a word with them man i know you probably Mm. agree to them sharing that but don't share it man i don't want to see it i don't want to see it Shut your mouth, man. Yeah, man. Funko, man, please. I know Funko, you guys are good to me, man, but please. (laughs) No spoiler. (laughs) They're spoiling it up, man. I don't want to see none of that stuff. But listen, bro, the trailers have been coming out Mondays. So let's see if tomorrow night we're going to get a trailer for Spider-Man. I feel like it's coming soon, though. If it's not tomorrow, which which, tomorrow when this is released is today. But, bro, if it's not tomorrow, then I reckon it's going to be very soon. The multiverse is open, so they got they're going to release the trailer. And same with like you know Doctor Strange. Like I said, man, I I, I don't I'm not a storyteller. Obviously, I'm shit. But they don't have to spend an hour and a half of the movie explaining if it. it's just no, Doctor Strange. No, they jump straight waking in, bro. Up, waking up from bed and be like, huh, what the hell? Someone's fucked around with timeline and shit. I got to go sort this shit out. Loki's going to be in it. Tom uh, apparently is is announced that he's going to be in the multiverse of madness so that made sense they've kept that quiet until the end of this season uh bro we were talking about stan lee how do we not know stan lee was a variant 
that you know when the multiversal shit was happening that he kind of escaped and ended up on this earth i mean you never know he could have been a very you know what there's like there's so much there's there's like there's so much to it now like which is amazing which will make you know you see deadpool reacts and deadpool with what do you call it you're talking about 20th century fox they make and the sony spider-mans they make all of that shit canon bro Every, both TV programs, Agents of Shield, Netflix, Daredevil's Punisher, them guy, bro, they could do whatever they want now. It's open. But I, I saw this was a rumor, obviously. But there's someone wrote down, or oh, Blade, they're gonna bring back Blade as a variant. I mean, Wesley Snipes as Blade. I'm like, do it, man. Do <laughs> it. Do whatever you want. They could do whatever they want now, and it wouldn't be like, oh, how did they get them involved? And this is what I love. Like I said, man, they spent Loki season talking about the timeline and the multiverse, not just an hour and a half movie. No. That's what I love. Yeah. But I think it's, um, I think it's, I, I, like I said, I'm no storyteller, but to me, I think it's genius storytelling. I, I really do. I no, really definitely. do. definitely. Without that, they, time when... they've really, they've opened up the universe massively. And it's exciting for comic book guys, bro. Like, you know, from what we've read and what we've seen, you know, you watch the cartoons, regardless of where you're coming from when you love this stuff. The fact that they're branched out, like, it's good enough what they did the past 10 years to interconnect everything, yeah? And this was the message, uh, this is a conversation I had with my manager on Friday. Uh, the way they did that is amazing. The fact that they could take elements from the comic books of continuing a story without giving you too much to give you a, a massive great ending, this is opened up dramatically, bro. You know what I mean? Oh my and God, 100%. 100%, bro. And like we discussed, people were not happy with this episode because of what they were expecting. Like, this is not a finale. If you want to see a finale, Endgame is a finale. Yeah. Go watch Endgame. Exactly. The, but you should have known that the Marvel show, shows and movies don't end until you got to that Endgame. It was always continuous. That's, That's exactly right. what these are. So... You know, the any one of these shows, I'm not expect now, bro. I'm, 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 my mind's definitely open. Any one of these shows, man, bro. Like I said, man, Marvel's made it very clear that these shows are pinnacle. I don't know if that's a word. Part yeah. of the of the MCU, of because course, of course. They're not just shows. They're not just TV shows. They are a part of it. And this, I think, they done it specifically for Loki to show that you better buy Disney Plus if <laughs> you want to follow this timeline. You have to do it. MCU, you better find spend buy that Plus. money. Spend better be watching that the money. TV programs. We exactly. spoke about Black Widow and how that that's going to link into the Hawkeye show. I mean, they're not fucking around, bro. They're catching you from all angles. Especially if you're a Marvel fan, you better follow the shows because you're going to follow the movies. So you need to buy Disney Plus and exactly. you better go to the cinema. And exactly. bro, I'm I'm I, man. I, I fucking love Marvel and and what they do. I'm sorry, man. I'm biased as hell now. Um, of course, I still want to see my DC stuff. I'm looking forward to Suicide Squad. I've seen extra trailers. Uh, I know some of the boys have been watching it. Um, uh, I can't even, I don't know if I can say that, but I know some some friends that have been getting, um, uh, what you call it, advanced previews and whatnot. I've seen so much stuff on Killer Shark. I know I'm going off topic. So I'm really looking forward to the, 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 the DC stuff, but Marvel, bro, they've blown my head. I just want to, I just, I don't know, man. I'm so moist. Two weeks, we're going to get what ifs. Um, they're just gonna keep it going, bro. Shang Chi in, 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 in about September. Oh my god, bro! I've been talking about this 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 Loki thing for for ages. My girl, she, I think she can't take it no more. But I'm like, don't you <laughs> understand what the fuck is going on? I don't think you understand what they've done. <laughs> no, Ridiculous. it's 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 massive. It is massive, bro. Uh, I'm looking forward to the 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 phase four of the Marvel universe definitely because they are definitely taking it in the right direction and you know i'm excited bro you know I, we're, we're in good times man we've always been in good times we're lucky enough to get some of this stuff in this time man you know 20 years ago i just it, did not think that you know they did superhero movies but we didn't think it would be this big bro you know when we got like the star wars franchise you know that was something that continued but this man they marvel comics man and you know the guy is Kevin Feige, man. You, you, you the dude, man. You the guy, man. man. You the man. You the Whoa. man. 
Bro, I, 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 and I know we're always getting, and this is what I love about it, man. We once saw Thanos and was like, oh my God, bro, they're going to do the Infinity Saga. And then now we're like, oh my God, they're doing the boy for God knows what, one day when they show us Galactus, bro. Oh my God, they're going to show us Galactus. So, bro, this is mad. This is madness, man. And if Wolverine does show up in the multiverse of madness, because they could do all of that as Hugh Jackman, because he's been teasing some pictures. I mean, they could do anything now just to get us pumped, bro. I'm they can, you, they can, they can, they can. You definitely. put Hugh Jackman in that movie for two minutes. That's a billion dollar movie, bro. A billion dollar movie, bro. I'm <laughs> exactly, telling you, bro. bro. Marvel, Marvel's making movies and, and shows where they're like, these movies got to make billion dollars, all of them. Yeah. They're not looking at chump, chump change, man. Obviously, I think Black Widow made loads of money, but I opened up in the pandemic and, you know, all that sort of shit. But I think it made a shitload of money still. But, um, man, I, I don't know, It's good man. fun, it's I, good I, fun. Definitely. I'm so moist. I'm We've so got some moist. good stuff coming up. We've got some good stuff. I forgot to say, guys, make sure you're following us on TikTok. I put up our, our, our clips on there, and I'm going to start a clips oh, nice. YouTube channel as well. So the Brothers Geek Out clips channel, I'm going to start putting up clips on there as well. So it's shorter bits. And if it intrigues you new listeners to actually listen in and watch the longer version, then we'll do that. So I'm going to start doing clips soon as well. But, yeah, make sure you check us out on there. G-Man, I need to... Uh, Go take care of little one. But I was going to say you could have a quick combo before we actually lock this off. But uh, I don't think there was anything else to cover, was there? Well, that, I could talk to you for hours about Loki and the motorbike <laughs> to get moist. Let's let's do more next week if we have more ideas. But yeah, sure, bro. Um, yeah, cool, everyone. So I, what got, I was going to say, couple... bro, like you said, like I want to start the clip channel, yeah. So guys, you're going to get in a bit of an insight of what we're looking to do now. So we're going to do more clips things. So if what we could do is if you could do like a three minute clip of, you know, just your mind explosion about Loki, then I can pop that on the channel and I can share that on the social media so that the guys can actually see it. So mm. I know we used to do movie reviews and stuff like that. We're not going to do like the long ass 20 minute movie reviews no more. I want to do them in clips. So if you get an initial reaction when you come out of the cinema and you've just watched Space Jam, I want to upload that straight up to the channel. All right, let's do that. Yeah. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about it offline, man. And I'm, I'm happy that uh, the clips are good. Good way to kind of like advertise a little thing, what we do, what we talk about, and pull it up. And even from the podcast, bro, if you could take little clips from it. That that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm looking to do. That's, uh, that's yeah. what I'm doing. But I'm going to start its own channel as well. So slowly, slowly, guys, I'm kind of rifting off the Kibla Ahmed art page, and we're going to have our own channels going. Uh, I've taken the decision to, like, as much as I, I still love doing my artwork, I'll always have my artwork. I'll still do, I'll keep that one page open, which is the Instagram page, but everything is going to move over to the Brothers Key Cat podcast. The, the strange thing is, bro, I deleted my Twitter account after I was having it for like 12 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, Damn. Yeah. I mean, now I, because it's, it's hard to keep track of what I'm posting on, where I'm posting it. I, I just want everything to be one flow channel and easy to look after. So, you know, and it doesn't take up so much of life as well because I don't want to be on the phone all the time and Alara, Alara making me cry and shit. I don't want that happening, bro. No, that's cool. That's a good idea, man. Just focus it on the podcast thing. Yeah, and I can still and share my artwork and stuff on the channel. Exactly. So you guys are getting exactly, excited, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's yeah. not you're not just getting a podcast out of it and I'll stop geeking out. You're getting real life stuff and then you're getting my artwork as well. So I'll always share it on there. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, an emotional one when I pressed that de delete uh, well, it's good. I mean, I got my, I never use my Twitter. I just use my Instagram to be honest and Facebook. I use it to just, yeah. I don't really use Facebook, but I just, I, from my Instagram, it goes on to there. But yeah, no, keep sharing everything through the, the Brothers Geek Out uh, channels. And uh, yeah, man, we got, we got what special uh, Geek Out session this week coming out, right? 2 yeah, so we're going to go to Professor Kaiki. Oh, Kaiki. Yes, Professor Kaiki my comes out this Friday, guys. Coach. Make sure you check that out, guys. Uh, it's a really good episode. Uh, I'll have that up on uh, yeah Friday. So this Friday we have a geek out session uh, with Professor said I Kaiki Kaiki Kaiki. I don't want to say it wrong, man. <laughs> Lose. Uh, but we'll have that episode out this Friday, and then guys, you guys will as you, you usual be daily Monday, Tuesday dosage. So this will come out yeah tomorrow, but it'll be your today when you listen to it. So all right cool all right guys make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter guys and tiktok we're on there the brothers geek out podcast uh massive thank you all for your support make sure you check us out on all streaming platforms if you like apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, amazon music 
SoundCloud, mm. Spotify. We're, we're on all Twitch, of it, man. But you know, you know what though? Well, next time we're on Twitch, you know what? Next time we're on, maybe I could do a live stream of Twitch through the camera and see if that shit kind of you know picks up or anything. So this is what I wanted to work on next, bro. So to make editing and everything a bit more easy, I want I'm gonna do. I'm, t- I'm learning some tips from Fat Man Beyond. So shout outs to Kevin, Kevin Smith and Mark Bernardin. So we'll do, this will be live, bro. So it'll mm. be a live broadcast on a Sunday. And I'll have it out so that uh, it's instant, basically. But it will allow us to stream it on YouTube and Twitch. Ah, straight away. Okay. okay. Straight away. So hopefully from next week, if I learn it, out. I'm going to do that. Because then that cuts out editing time for me which is always helpful and grateful. Mm, so cool, I'm going to cool, do that cool, and uh, cool. we'll go from there. But yeah, cool. All right, guys, massive, massive thank you as always. Let me go. And uh, we'll catch you guys up soon. One love. Peace. Peace.